Welcome to Refashion Revision, where I take outdated clothes and turn it into new. My name is Sarah, and I've been refashioning for 10 years on my blog called Our Life is Beautiful, but started YouTube in 2017. In this episode, I'll be turning these black and white trousers that have been sitting in my closet for four years into a detachable overall skirt. You'll need five to six buttons for inside of the waistband, sewing needle, matching thread, safety pin, two buttons for outside the skirt, scissors, and not pictured is a seam ripper. I want the length to be a little bit above the knee, so about right there, so I'm going to cut two inches below that. Since I didn't have a marker with me, I used a pin to mark where I wanted the length while trying not to poke my knee. So I'm now cutting two inches below the pin. Seam rip the inside of the pants. Sew the seams together in the front and the back. Basically, you want the seam to be straight and smooth, so you're getting rid of anything that pokes out. And some of you guys asked about my new ring. It's my 10 year anniversary gift from my husband. Isn't it so pretty? It's my absolute dream ring. It's similar to my original wedding ring, but it's bigger, it's oval, and it's a gemstone called Morganite. I got it at Mark Tarion, where I custom designed the ring and they delivered exactly how I wanted it. I'm so happy with it. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box below. I had to do a few tries before I got the fit right. Then cut the excess fabric. Try on the soon-to-be skirt and pinch the sides to see how much to take in. For me, it was about half an inch on both sides. You know how since you cut the pants short, you're led with the access fabric from the bottom trouser? So I use one of the trousers to make a overall bib. And with the other bottom part of the trouser, I cut it into eight strips, one and a half inches wide and these will be for the straps. This is literally what I have left from the pants. I did pretty good, right, using Everything I probably could make something with this too Like a headband, but I'm not going to Try it on and place the bib to see how long you need it to be and pin it right at the right length and Sew the sides of the bib Sew the ends of the strips right sides together meaning the side that people will see are touching together then place the long strips right sides together again and sew two vertical lines. Safety pin to flip the strip the right side out. Take out all the belt loops. Place the bib on top of the skirt to mark where you want the buttons to be and hand sew the two buttons on the sides. I asked on my Insta story which buttons I should use and you guys said this one, which I agreed, but after putting it on, I felt like the buttons were too big and it was too distracting. So I decide to use the other buttons. Add four buttonholes on the bottom of the bib, then two more buttonholes on the end of the straps, and add four buttons in the front inside of the skirt, and two buttons on the inside of the back of the skirt. Also sew the straps onto the bib. And it's done! Let's compare the before and the afters. Yeah. 
You can wear the skirt in two ways, as an overall skirt or take out the bit for just a plain pencil skirt. So these buttons that I switched out to, I, you guys, I don't know, how do you pronounce buttons? Is it buttons or buttons? I always change it. But anyway, what's the correct way? But do you like the buttons that I switched to? I feel like since the size is smaller and it's matte gold instead of shiny, it blended with the overall skirt more and it wasn't as distracting as the other one. What do you think? The project cost $4 just for the buttons. Estimated time was 2.5 hours and skill level is intermediate. Keep watching for the bloopers where I thought I messed up big time. Give me a thumbs up if you like this refashion and see you next week. <laughs> Mindlessly unpicking and I unpicked the whole butt. Whoopsie. At least no one can give me a wedgie. Definitely not garment appropriate. Guess what I just realized? I can't put this bib in the front because look. It's a front closure. For some reason, oh, I thought it was like sideways zipper or the back. You guys. No, I can't put the bib on. What do I do? Oh, so I can sew it here and then just leave this open. And then maybe like put a snap on. That's so ghetto. Oh my gosh. But I might have to do that. Don't tell anybody.